The assumptions about China were there was going to be an economic crisis at some point, the economic growth rate could not possibly be sustained, the political system was also, uh, did not enjoy legitimacy, and also at some point would implode or explode or what have you. China is going to change the world in two fundamental respects. For the first time in the modern era, the dominant country in the world, which I think is what China will become, will be not from the West. We have seen the most remarkable economic transformation in human history. A population of 1.3 billion people, one-fifth of humanity, and there's a general that the Chinese economy will overtake the American economy. It's not good enough, to be frank, to paint China as this sort of autocracy with a central government which suppresses everything. There has been a huge shift in the personal freedoms of the average Chinese. I would, my country, to be more modest and more humble in the face of China's extraordinary achievement. We need to learn from the Chinese about state competence. It's part of, and in key respects, the leader of what I will call you know, a great era of global democratization. Democracy is not reducible to put, putting your vote in a, a ballot box. I mean, America might be democratic, but is America's relationship with the rest of the world in any sense democratic? Of course it is. Now, Hitherto, the world has been run for the last 200 years by a sliver of humanity. This tiny minority has run the world. This has been a deeply undemocratic and authoritarian period of history. The majority of humanity will increasingly be uh, exercising global leadership and global power.